It's Ben White a good signing for Arsenal. So there are credible reports that say that Arsenal have agreed a fee of £50 million with Brighton to sign their 23-year-old centre-back Ben White. White is a pretty unique centre-back, which I will come on to in a bit, but is splashing this sort of cash on one player like White a good transfer strategy for Arsenal? But before that, for cheap good quality football jerseys, retro jerseys and tracksuits, go over to www.jerseyfever.com. A link will be left in the description and use code AlantisFootball for 5% off. So why exactly have Arsenal decided to spend £50 million on a centre-back? Well, it's almost certainly because of White's unique style and attributes. He is one of the best on-the-ball centre-backs in Europe. He completed 0.7 dribbles per 90 last season in the Premier League, the third most of any centre-back. When we compare him to every other centre-back in Europe's top five leagues, we can see that White ranks in the 78th percentile for shot-creating actions, the 88th for progressive passes, and the 94th for dribbles completed, which shows just how White compares to other centre-backs in Europe. We can see an example of this here as White bursts forward from deep and carries the ball into the attacking third and in the next clip he's able to bypass the first line of pressure with a swivel and drive forward. This is an incredibly valuable asset to have in a centre back as it will make Arteta's side less reliant on their deep line midfielders to progress the ball so they can sit higher up the pitch, pulling the opposition midfield backwards and allow White to play almost as a libero, pushing forward into the midfield line with the ball and looking for forward passes. Ben White definitely is a centre back very much in the John Stones mould which explains why he's valued so highly. However, White's defensive attributes also make him very appealing to Arteta. He's quick and a very good reader of the game, able to position himself right to anticipate and then react to attackers' runs in behind him, and he's very good at them being able to cut out the chance with either an interception from the pass or getting across to block a shot. White is capable of playing either as a covering or a front foot defender. His reading of the game is superb as seen by the stats that show that last season he completed 1.7 interceptions per 90, the 15th most of any centre-back, showing that he can step out of the defensive line to intercept a pass into the opposition's forward. He doesn't make a large amount of tackles, just 1.1 per 90, but he's only dribbled past 0.7 times per 90 giving him a fairly good tackle success rate of 61%. We can see an example of this here against Arsenal, as White is faced with a one-on-one -on -one in the channel, and rather than diving in or overcommitting too early, White has a knack of being composed, holding his ground and waiting for the perfect time to put in a tackle to win the ball back. His pace and anticipation of movement in behind the back line will allow Arteta to use a higher back line than he otherwise would be able to do with players like Holding or David Luiz at centre-back, who don't have these abilities as White does. This will make a significant impact on Arsenal's press. Having a higher backline will allow them to be more vertically compact, making their high press more effective and therefore should aid them in winning the ball back higher up the pitch. So it's clear that Ben White is a very good player and is definitely a potential world-class centre-back in my opinion. But is signing him for £50 million a good deal for Arsenal? Well, in short, yes. White is only 23 and is an English player playing in the Premier League, which is why the price is slightly inflated. White is probably worth around £35 million in my opinion, but I don't have a problem with Arsenal spending as much as 50 if that doesn't take away funds from other positions. Arsenal still need a central midfielder, an advanced playmaker and a right-back, bare minimum in this transfer window. I did do a Who Arsenal Should Sign video, so you can see who exactly I suggested by going to the description. You can also get three months free when you sign up to ExpressVPN for 12 months using my link which will also be in the description. So if you want to watch Netflix shows from different countries or stream football matches, whatever you want to do with it, use that link in the description below. If Arsenal are going to spend big, upwards of £150 million, then they will have the funds to bring in other players that they need, and so I'm not as concerned as maybe I otherwise would be. But why it being brought in is definitely a sign that Arsenal are looking to build a title contending team, bringing three or four potentially world-class players this summer, three or four next summer, and like Klopp did with Liverpool, Arteta could build a side capable of challenging for the Premier League in a few seasons. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video, remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Go to the description to check out some of my other videos as well. For ExpressVPN, also go to the description. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more content as well.